All right, so this is day two of my playthrough of Sea of Stars. Today, we have a very, very exciting part to get through, and that is the Elder Mist Trials. That's where we ended last time, and that is where we're going to jump in now. I love this game. It's so fun. Okay, here we go. Elder Mist Trials. We are all rested up, so let's go ahead and jump into this. So we have three different areas we have to go to. Man, this is really lagging. But I at least want to get through a couple of the trials, and then we'll we'll see where we're go we go from there. Luckily, they don't just run off the edge without my permission. Yeah. So no, as far as my cosplay goes for um, for Valerie or Valer, uh, she, I have the wig, I have a um, I thrifted a dress and a um, a pair of very comfy pants to use. Uh, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be using those as my kind of baseline And block ah almost Let's go ahead and boost up And smack him hiya Woo beautiful Oh, and that means we must be done with this part. Do 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 do. Collect all the stuffs. Go ahead and I guess press that. Poof! There we go. And there goes the first artifact. And since that's one that's done, since that one's good. We got the artifact. There's the artifact there. Let's do... Let's do the one on the right. Let's go ahead and... I guess it doesn't really matter which one we try to hit. There we go. It's not lagging anymore. Just took a little bit. So there's a... Ooh, bridges. Good, good, good. Oh, is that it? Oh, there we go. There we go. This is going so much smoother than it was. Each enemy has a different timing pattern, makes it fun. Yeah, it does make it fun because and it makes it challenging. I think that's the big part is like, it makes it challenging so that you're not just like, oh, I just, if I know how to fight one, I know how to fight them all. No, it's different for each of them. Okay, last part. Here we go. A little climbing area. There we go. To get this artifact piece, you will need to answer three questions correctly. Let's see how well you learned. Of these two actions, which one regenerates MP? That one is attacking. MP is um, mana or mana points. However you choose to say it. Graphics are interesting because not everything is like the same it almost looks like it's all on the same level but it's not oh i went down the wrong way dang it there we go this is where i wanted to go what is the name of the school you went to it was zenith academy solstice elementary would be fun though maybe i don't know i feel like the for those of you who have either played the game already or have seen um, my previous stream slash video, I don't know. I feel like the... Ooh, mushroom scramble. Nice. I don't know. I feel like the, the headmaster of the school is hiding something. And maybe it's, maybe it's a good thing that he's hiding. Maybe it's a bad thing. I have no idea. I just feel like he's hiding something. One very important solstice warrior duty is to destroy dwellers who become vulnerable during which natural phenomenon? That would be the eclipse. Ha! That was pretty easy. I don't remember if it was the discord or if it was 
um, the Facebook group that has the that's talking about Sea of Stars, but someone was saying that the rest song sounds like Dumb Ways to Die. Dumb Ways to Die. And I'm like, hmm. Never would have really thought about that, but there you go. All right, let's do this, question mark. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The Young Adventurers has finished the preparations. Huh? I see you understand the power of live mana, but can you master it? We shall see. The use of spells is now allowed again. Oh no. <laughs> Face me, children of the solstice. Oh. The Elder Mist doesn't have hit points, but the sword does. I think I might just need to target the sword. I'm gonna target the sword. See if I can get this timing right. No! I got it wrong. Okay, not too bad. Oh, the sword's feeling better. Ooh, shoot. Okay, here we go. I gotta deflect it now. Here we go. There we go. Ha! Okay. Oh, yeah. That hurt. Here we go. Boom! Got him! Woohoo! Well done! Awesome. How formidable. Oh, a bright future awaits you indeed. Valor and or Valerie and Zale, I name you Solstice Warriors. I knew it the best. Ha! There it is. We did it! I have consulted the mist of time during your trials. When you are ready to leave this place, find me at the sacred pond, and I will tell you of your respective prophecies. Then you will be sent out into the world. Whew. Don't take too long now. Here we go, back in the mountain trail. Good morning. The time has come to begin your journey. Morning? But it's the middle of the night. Ah, yes. I suppose your friends should address that. Address what? Bring us the dawn. We can do that? Whew. All it takes for you to, is for you to stand on a celestial rune. And then what? Something inside of you knows already. Right this way. Now concentrate and bring us the dawn. E and Q. So this is rewinding time. This is advancing time. There we go. That's pretty cool. It's like, how did you do that? That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Hoo -hoo -hoo. That part is always easier by simply going for it. Now, in your travels, you will sometimes find me mechanisms and seals powered by magical runes that react to the time of day. They were put into place by solstice warriors who came before you. Some conceal artifacts meant to help future members of the Order, such as yourselves, while others seal away evils that were too powerful to confront. Whether or not to look for these artifacts and challenges will be entirely up to you. Now, your journey can begin. Come and meet me beyond this chasm. How do we get across? By using your powers, of course. Meet me on the other side, and as a farewell gift, I will share with you what I could read in the mists of time. Take a look around. There's a big giant there, it looks like. Whew, are you ready to be sent out into the world? Yes, let's do it. Let us see you off then, but first, your prophecies. I will speak them to your minds directly, for they are yours, and yours alone. Zale, 
Step forward. In order to reach your full potential, you will first need to stare at the night inside of you. Ooh. So, like, fear or, like, um, I'm thinking, like, fear, like, uncertainty, like he's doubting himself, that kind of thing. Thank you, Elder Mist. Valer, er, Valer, Valerie, Valer. I'm gonna say Valer. Approach. When the time comes, you will be the one to create paths on water. Ooh, that's cool. Understood. Garl. I get one too. Awesome. You must be mindful of your limitations during this journey. You got it, Elder Mist. Garl, this is not a conversation. <laughs> I love Garl, he's so great. Oh, my bad, carry on. <laughs> the mists are unclear in your case, but it appears your heart might be warm enough to soothe a long tormented soul. Okay, I'll do my best. I love Garl, you guys, he's just the best. You have now learned everything I could teach you. I am sending you to Sleeper Island, where you are fated to meet, meet a crew bound for adventure. Make friends with them, and they shall help you reach Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. To activate this giant, give it the name Extol to be sent to Sleeper Island. To return here, simply go to Extol and speak this one's name, which is... Extol? Cool. Oh, shoot. Well, I suppose we won't be seeing each other for a while. They didn't even get the name to return to Evermist. Oops. Who? But then how are they going to get back to Evermist? Oh, okay. Great archives. And so it was that Valer and Zale were set, sent off to begin their journey with their best friend, the warrior cook, in tow. In their quest to get to Wraith Island, in time for the eclipse, they would soon come to grips with two very powerful wizards. One by anger beset, the other of life bereft. Interesting. Whee! Boom. No way, that was awesome! The Elder Mist wasn't kidding. What a ride. Who knew the world was so big? So, what now? Find a boat, I suppose. To ground level, then? There's only one way we can go from here anyway. Off we go. This looks like a little secret. I like looking for little secrets. Ooh. That's nice. Okay. Now we got a trail leading to. Got some potatoes. Oh. Oh. Oh, snap. <gasps> That's so cool. And I don't know who they are, but I want to know who they are because I want to be able to do that. That's awesome. Oh, I missed them. Or they missed me. <laughs> Take that, you fool. Time has made the runes indecipherable. And yeah, we'll go ahead and take you. Why not? Ha! Let's boost you up. We'll go ahead and... Moon ring. Here we go. How many times can we moon ring? Woo! 
Ooh, that was good. And we'll just take you out. They almost look like little, like, duck face things. No. We'll go back to Val to Valer. And we'll do the Moonerang. Here we go. Dang it, too early. Do the moon ring. How many times can we do it? Oh, only one? Dang. Okay, that's fine. We got rid of the Ant Bruiser, that's what matters. Woohoo! We did it! Done. Oh, level up! Yes! Alright, let's see what we get. Magic attack, physical attack, physical defense. I like getting hit points, because hit points is always a good thing to get. Okay, physical defense, ma mana points. I'm gonna do ma mana points, or mana points. I don't know how you say it. Mana, mana, let's do mana for, um, or mana for Garl. Val Valer might go down here in just a second. There we go. Yeah, Valer's going down. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, and there goes Garl, too. Well, let's just sunball the crap out of these guys. There we go. That's fine. Oof, that hurt. Oh, we might die. Oh no! We're going to die! We're dead. No! Man. Okay. That's one death. That's fine. We can deal with that. Let's do the moonerang. There we go. That's pretty good. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Too soon. That's fine. Oh. Look, someone's over there. Pink hair. Instantly a fan. I love pink hair. We should ask for directions. She looks busy. Ah, I'm sure it's fine. Hello, is there something special about that big rock? Yes, come look at this. It's... This looks like... Garla has no idea. Nah, it must be my imagination. Or he's not saying anything. <clears throat> so, what are those? Is Garl hiding something? Fascinating is what they are. These runes are the oldest form of writing known to us. Who's us? Traveling historians, of course. Or at least what's left of them. No way, you're a traveling historian? Nice to meet you, but, um, nice to meet you. My name is Carl. Nice to meet you too. I'm Teeks. So, are your friends always this quiet? Ha! <laughs> nah, Valer and Zale are fun. They've just been sealed away to study in the sky for too many years. Magic hair, enchanted cloth pieces. <laughs> I love how fast she moves. You're solstice warriors. 
B I I knew it! Adventurous spirits, first in battle, fated to unravel in this mysterious unknown mysteries unknown and and encounter countless forgotten artifacts. <laughs> A traveling historian's best friend. I love her enthusiasm. I mean Well, someone's excited. Haha, <laughs> and we thought Garl was something. Hey guys, Teeks has an offer for us, and I think it's worth hearing her out. Sure, what's up? I'm not sure how to explain it properly. It's about my book. Why don't you eat with us tonight, Teeks? This place is perfect to set up camp. Oh, well. Don't be shy. We're happy to have you. Yeah, plus you have to try Garl's cooking. I... Okay, thanks. That's it, one stew coming right up. Thanks again for the food, girl. You really are a pretty good cook. Glad you liked it. You're welcome to join us again anytime. So you're the very last traveling historian. At this point, I might as well be the first. It's been so long since all the lore grimoires were burned. The what now? Lore grimoires. Every traveling historian has one, or had one, I suppose. They're enchanted books that write themselves by touching artifacts with stories to tell. Whoa! A traveling historian's duty is to make their lore grimoire as full as possible before passing it on to a new recruit. There used to be a guild in a whole bunch of us, but now there's just this believer here. Which leads me to what I've been meaning to ask. Shoot. Well, you see, the best thing a traveling historian can ask for is adventurers who keep an eye out for them. I don't have a way to pay you, but if you wouldn't mind grabbing any artifacts you stumble upon during your adventures, I'd be happy to share stories with you. Sounds fun, but how will we find you if you're always traveling? Don't worry about it. I'll just drop by your campfire whenever you're out in the open. It's the perfect setting for telling stories. Story time by the campfire? Sign me up. Great. Just bring me any artifacts you find. And we'll see how my lore grimoire reacts. Just the one. It was empty when I found it, but that's okay by me. I plan on discovering enough to fill an entire volume. That's the spirit. This first story wrote itself when I stumbled upon a very old pirate earring. That's when I knew I was holding a real lore grimoire. They were thought extinct. What's the story about? A ghost pirate ship called the Vespertine. Ooh, I can read it for you if you want. Feel free to ask. Of all the recorded hexes and acts of bewitchment, few are as dreadful as the curse of the Vespertine. This story takes us back centuries to a time when a certain band of pirates ruled the seas. Stormcaller was the name of their captain. He was the most powerful wind mage the world had ever known. And their navigator... Hortense remains to this day the, shrewd, the shrewdest mariner on record. Combining Hortense's skill and Stormcaller's magic, some say their ship was faster than light itself. The crew went on many adventures and accumulated countless riches until, one day, the inevitable happened. Hortense, whose first love was music, announced that she wanted to quit the pirate life and devote herself to her art full-time. Ever a firm believer that the real treasure is the treasure one finds along the way, Stormcaller took her resignation harshly. Utterly insulted, he stopped conjuring winds, wind for the sails and locked the ship right in the middle of the ocean. And we shall remain here, he said, till our navigator gets that silly idea out of her, out of her head. But Hortense had already made her final decision. Days went by, both of them sulking while their crew begged that they reach some resolution. First they ran out of patience, then out of food, and eventually out of drinkable water. Then one day, after sunset, the pirates driven mad by hunger and thirst, mutinied and made their captain walk the plank. And as he sank into the abyss, Stormcaller cursed his crew and conjured an eternal prison. In the sea of nightmare, he would channel a deadly storm for them to endure forevermore. 
Over centuries, the crew members lost their minds to the ghastly place. Until only Hortense remained. To this day, the battle goes on in the Sea of Nightmare. Storm colors hatred pitted against the navigator's sheer will. Some, state, some say Storm Collar's fury will one day sink the ship, while others believe he will eventually bow to the indomitable Hortense. Legend has it she gets a short break once a day for but a few seconds at the precise time the curse was first conjured. Countless sailors and fishermen have since reported sightings of the legendary ghost pirate ship that appears at dusk. They call it the Vespertine. While some have half a mind to climb aboard in search of treasure, most avoid sailing at dusk for fear of being sucked into the sea of nightmare. The end. Thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, let me know down in the comments, what do you think is going to happen next? Do you think Garl's hiding anything based on his reaction with looking at the runes? Tell me what you think. I want to hear all the things. So anyways, thank you all so much and I will catch you next time. Peace out. Have a wonderful day, morning, night, wherever you're at. Really, really appreciate you guys. Peace out.